guys Paddy is back with another video so in this video I am talking about a uh, spam detection system which is implemented using a natural language processing uh, you can see this is the uh, flask web application which is deployed on the flask so how we can do this so this is the tutorial so let's start so how you can see uh, how it works so let's see with example uh, you want 1500 dollar give me your bank details so these messages look like a spam it can be attacker also so you can see looking spam be safe so let's see one another example you have one job alert So you can see this mail is considered as a not a spam so guys you you know about if you are using a gmail or email so in your gmail there is a one spam folder so even gmail is doing the same thing even they have a, this kind of spam detector from that mail so let's see how we can implement this thing so this is the part, tutorial of part one in part two uh, i will show you how you can deploy this ml app uh, using heraku so you can see this app is currently on local machine and inside you can see this app is same application is available on online so in part 2 i will show you uh, how you can deploy this app on heraku so let's consider uh, our part 1 so you need to have a one csv file which is our data set this is called as pum.csv so let's uh, if you want to download the CSV, then see a, a link in the description. Uh, you can directly clone the my GitHub repository. So just don't copy, uh, don't copy paste the code. You understand the code. So just import the uh, required library. So from Flask, import Flask, then import Pandas SPD just for the data manipulation approach. Uh, then from SQLN import. Uh, feature extraction text count vector as a count vectorizer is just for a word vector because we are doing NLP after that from new bias import multinomial uh, new bias so it is a pa type of algorithm new bias so we are implementing new bias algorithm and after that I have imp uh, imported train test split because I have to split the my data into training and testing so now here i have initialized my flask application app is equal to flask and name so here my flask application is initialized now i uh, with this decorator i have given my root of the application so in this i have to define one function def home then return render template so if you are using a flask framework then you have to create a two folder stating and templates in your working directory so in templates i have put a one index.html so if uh, when i uh, run my application so it will redirect me to me this index.html so let's see with example so at the end you have to put uh, if name is equal to this main then app.run and debug is equal to true if you don't know what is a debug is equal to true means uh, you can change uh, your uh, uh, your program when server is running so it will directly update what change you have make it so you don't need to run it once again so let's see when i click on this link it will redirect me to this url because this is this is the ui of index.html so let's see index.html so this is one simple kind of html file i have downloaded html code from the i don't know where i registered just a sample random template so even I, I doesn't like to code in HTML, just I have downloaded. So we need to modify some things here. So in form tag, I have defined action is equal to predict. So I will explain this thing to you later. So now we need to implement my CSS here. So in Flask, it support a Jinja templating. So you can see this is the syntax of the Jinja templating URL underscore for then static file name is equal to style.css. So that's how you can uh, read uh, how you can give the path of your style.css so my style.css is present in this static directory so now my index app is ready 
so now it's time to the get the prediction so now what will be my uh, situation so if i enter some data here when i click on this predict button this data should be uh, give uh, should be written to my model and my model give me a prediction but after getting the prediction my model should return some result here so this is the main logic so let's implement it so now i have created one root uh, hash uh, slash predict so when i click on the submit button so it will return uh, it will be redirect to this slash predict because i have given a slash predict then i will define method is equal to post so now i have created one another function def is equal to predict so uh, now it's time for the machine learning part so df is equal to pd dot read csv so i have just read this spam dot csv encoding is equal to latin one so just i have defined one encoding so in csv there are uh, unnamed column so i need to remove this unnamed column because it will uh, not affect on our prediction so df dot drop so with this df dot drop i have dropped my unnamed columns so now it's time for the x and y division so x means what our uh, independent variable and y means what y means dependent variable means y is dependent on our x okay so let's see with example so just uh, let's understand this line so df is equal to label and df is equal to class so we have uh, here i have used df label is equal to df class dot map in the data set uh, where uh, class is equal to harm it will consider zero and when class is equal to spam it will consider one because machine learning doesn't understand the word it understand only mathematics so it's just like a, a label encoder one kind of a label encoder which i did here but using with map function so now x is equal to df then i have mentioned message so let's understand the concept of a dependent ind independent variable concept so if i'm uh, writing one message here your i need your account details okay just for example your account details so this is our x okay now y is what y is prediction y will consider this message is spam or not so according to my thinking this message is looking spam so now our y is dependent on what y is dependent on our x so that's why it can it's called a concept of dependent and independent variable so this is the most important concept which you need to clear otherwise you will get a uh, lots of confusion so now i have divided my data x and y so now it's time to understand the some logic here so now in x so there will be a lots uh, lots of the word and messages so now i have to convert that all the word into matrices so we don't need to do anything just we have important our count vectorizer this is uh, here so from escalon feature extraction dot text import count vectorizer it will convert our word into vector so i have initialized cb is equal to count vectorizer then i have fit the my x data so now my x is converted into mathematical matrix and my y is already mapped with 0 and 1 using this map function so now it's time for the training and testing so if you don't know what is it you, if you are totally newbie or beginner so what we are doing we are giving for four partition x train x test y train y test so in y train what will be available in y train it is it uh, it one kind of the label so our data will train on this x train and y train so i have divided the uh, part into training and testing so after training we need to uh, test our model so we are giving this test data in the training x test and y test so what is y test y test is our original label of our x test but we need to get the predictor label on the x test so we are using some x underscore pred or any other variable to get the prediction so we are using 
train underscore test underscore split which is a, a, a inbuilt available in the scikit learn in a model underscore selection part so we need to define our data x and y so test size equal to 0 0.33 so base ratio is a 75 and 25 or 70 30 so just i am using 0 0.25 so 75 for uh, 75 available for a training and 0.25 percent data of uh, available in a testing so random state is equal to 42 so random state is a depend on a random factor so you can consider a zero so now let's go ahead so it's time to fit our algorithm so we are using multinomial new bias algorithm so even we can uh, change it and modify the parameter when we can try more uh, depth in depth like grid search cv and k fold cross validation and many more techniques available but i am just uh, giving you demonstrate of this application how you can impl uh, implement this thing in the flask so i am not doing this thing just i am simple i have simple fitted this algorithm so clf is equal to multinomial nb so my algorithm is initialized here now it's time to fit the my algorithm into a training data so you can see i define x train and y train so my data is fitted so now i need to print the score score means just uh, like of the result uh, if you are giving some exam so at the uh, completion of exam you will get the sum result so this is something like this you will get the classification score means how your model is performing on the data in the test data you can see in the score i have defined x test and y test so now our machine learning part actually end here so now it's time to implement this thing on the flask so i have defined if request dot method is equal to post so if my method is post then i need to request dot form so now understand with logic so i need to get this text data okay so with this request which is available in the flask you can see this is the request so request dot form so what it will do oh, sorry where's the code uh, request dot form message now what is this message so message is nothing message is just id of this text box uh, sorry this address box this is not a text box so you can see this is the name of our message box so what it will do when i click on the submit button it will get the text uh, which is available in this address box and store in this message variable so again we need to do the same process we need to fit the count vectorizer on this text data because if we, i enter something data here so it will be considered as a normal string or we can say normal text so now data is equal to message so i have given this message into a list and at the end we have uh, implemented civit dot transform data so it will transform my data into count vectorizer matrix and after the conversion i will transform into array <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys so two array so it will convert my data into two array so now my all the data which which is uh, written here it will consider as a uh, one kind of vector or we can say matrix so now it's time to do the prediction so until that what we are doing we are doing on the uh, some x text data but now we are uh, testing our model on some live data so now just if i enter something here if i click on the predict button so my the data which is entered here stored here after that with this i have implemented count vectorizer now my machine learning model means our classifier means uh, this multinomial and uh, new bias algorithm will predict the my prediction so now my prediction is stored in this my prediction variable so now i have to return the prediction so now i return return render template now if uh, just example if i click on the predict button so it should be written me something because uh, if i click on the submit then i did not get uh, anything then 
it will just look like some kind of one so what here you have written here return then render template so once again i am returning the same page index.html but here i have mentioned the variable value prediction is equal to my prediction now this is this prediction is a parameter so now understand the concept here what is this prediction so now one thing is remember action is equal to here i will define url underscore for predict so that's why i will define here because when i click on the submit button my form should be go to this method because i have this is you can see i have defined predict here so that's why i have written url for predict here okay so now you can see uh I had defined with the Jinja, Jinja templating. If you don't know what is it, then you can Google it. Jinja templating is supporting uh, some programming logic in the Flask in Django also. So if prediction is equal to one, then I have just a given a label. If prediction is equal to one, then it will be message uh, in H2 looking spam. If a label is zero, then yeah, just I mentioned color green and not a spam. Okay. So that's why I mentioned prediction is equal to my prediction variable value because I will get zero or one value from here. It will return me zero or one, but I have to initialize word here because people cannot understand zero and one language. We only programmer can understand this thing. So that's why we need to initialize the label here. If we got the output one, then it will display this. And if we got the output of zero, then it will display this not as firm. So I hope you understand this concept very clearly. And at the end, just we have if name is equal to main, then app dot run debug is equal to true. So this is the flask is a very simple. So guys, there are lots of people who are confusing with a flask and Django. So according to me, if, if you want to implement machine learning, for a simple purpose, so then Flask is a very easy, better than Django. But if you want to uh, bigger, if you want to create a bigger application like a management system or anything else which is uh, bigger, so then Django is more useful for. But for creating REST API and for smaller tasks, Flask is just amazing. You can see in the just uh, if we cannot consider this all the space, then almost in 30, <coughs> almost in 30. Uh, 30 to 33 line we have created this flask application this is an nlp application you can see so guys that's all for the today video so uh, if you did not check the my other video so i am just showing you i have uploaded many videos regarding to the flask and many more things you can see here so let's check into play playlist you can see I already uploaded web development, flash tutorial, uh, Wikipedia application development, machine learning, car detection system, mask and CNN, object detection, Python trick, open post estimation, uh, Kegel kernel, image processing, face mask detection. And there are lots of things available in my channel. So just visit it once uh, you, and just subscribe this channel. It will help me a uh, lot because i am doing uh, this all the tutorials in the free because uh, guys this kind of the concept and this kind of the material you will get in the some paid course if you know there are lots of paid course which is in the paid code project you will get this kind of the material i am doing this on the free even if you want to the code then just uh, go to the spidey 20 so just search google spidey 20 and you will get the repository here just search here NLP. Uh, so this is the not this. Uh, I will upload the link here. Let me see where is it. Last. Okay, I think the repository is not available. I will upload the repository and share the code soon. So uh, when you see the video until that repository will be uploaded. So like and share this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. See you soon guys. So I will come with uh, part two where how you can upload this website on the online Heroku. So see you in the next one. Thanks for the listening me guys.